Es el río Bonchic donde está la represa en la cordillera, en esa cordillera está la represa. Ah, ya. Y por la hidroeléctrica se ha secado el río hasta el momento donde lo ves. Ah, entonces por esta razón hay poco agua ahora. Sí, ahora por esta razón hay poco Ya, ya. And uh, they also use poison at the tips uh, of their spears. Y aquí se mete el, el dardo, la lancita, ¿eh? eso vuela. Yeah. Good morning internet, it is 7 o'clock in the morning and welcome back to the channel, welcome here. Look at that gorgeous sunrise on Bocas del Toro. It's going to be another beautiful day. I am just going to get to Alaska at the moment and then ride back to the main town and catch a little boat. See, Alaska is already here. I host her down after the last uh, adventures riding through salt water. <laughs> All right. So what am I going to do today? There are several uh, indigenous groups that live uh, around Bocas del Toro, around the islands here and also on the mainland. And um, today I'm going to visit uh, one of these indigenous uh, groups. Um, these are the Nassau people and there's only a few thousands of them. And. Um, they're one of the very few remaining indigenous groups in the Americas that have a monarchy and their king is also recognized by the Panamanian government. I always like learning about different cultures and different people. So I will first ride to the main town, then I'm gonna take um, a little boat. What a beautiful morning. Loads of people out there surfing. It's uh, low tide at the moment, so that makes it uh, a little bit better for uh, Alaska. No uh, salty water to ride through. I am in town. Let me see, now I have to just figure out where exactly I have to be. Somewhere here, I think. Buenos días. Ah, aquí es taxi 25. Sí, okay. aquí. Ok. No, ya tengo un... ¿Estás grabando? ¿Eh? ¿Estás grabando? Sí. A ver. Yeah. <laughs> ¿Un boleto ya? ¿Para dónde? ¿Para Almirante? Sí, fui por Almirante y fue el esta tarde. Yo tengo mi moto. ¿Mm? No, I have. You have moto? ¿Qué? ¿Qué tipo tiene? Uf, eh, mil eh, Suzuki. ¿Mil cilindrado? Uh -huh. wow. Más rápido. <laughs> sí, no. ese, es, ese solo es 300. No nada, no es nada. <laughs> ey, ey, oh, tranquilo, tranquilo, amigo. Sí. Uh, that is uh, Orlando. <laughs> uh, 
and um, so he's now going to take me uh, along the river here for a little bit. So this river is the main way of how people get around here on these uh, wooden wooden boats. <laughs> Entonces por esta razón hay poco agua ahora. Ya, ya. You can see how shallow it is. These are massive rocks, really close. So we have to go a little bit slowly. So yeah, towards the end of the dry season, uh, it almost becomes impossible, or even it becomes impossible to come here with the boats. So normally throughout the year, this is the main way of transport for the people here. So the community is kind of just lives alongside the river here. And the people go with these uh, little boats uh, alongside the river. But at the end of the dry season, when the river is too dry, then the only way to get around is by horseback. So then uh, they use horses for everything. So it's not going to be long before the, the river is going to be too dry. But now we can still pass going really slowly. See how shallow it is. This is maybe 20 centimeters, 30 centimeters maybe. So now we're reaching, I see, I see some stairs, so I think there's some people living over here. Let's see if we can get there. So they told me to reach the people that are part of this community but live the furthest away. It's five hours traveling by river, so that's deep deep into the jungle so we won't be going there today but um, yeah it looks like there's some uh, stairs up there cruzamos yeah <laughs> okay so i want to show you something pretty cool this is uh, one way that the people that live close to here in this community used to fish they've let a part of the river down here and then they've created these two pools to catch fish and then they've made three canals over here so you can see here that they've arranged the rocks in a way that the water can drain that way and then the fish are supposed to be left in here let's see if they caught something Nothing in here. Let's see over there. I have to be careful not to destroy the... Okay, I don't see any fish at the moment. But surely it works. So that's one way that they used to catch fish down here. And I've just asked, but um, the king does not live in this community. The king lives five hours down the river with the boat. So it's really quite far away. 
And they've also told me that their family, so basically the royal family, is called the Santana. So that's everybody with the surname Santana is part of the royal family. Um, and you can visit them. Well, people of the community can kind of make an appointment and go and visit their king. Um, I am too late to make an appointment and it's really far away. So unfortunately, I won't be able to meet the king of the people here. But um, surely I'm going to meet some other interesting people. So, yeah. No hay, no hay peces adentro no, ahora. No, ya no, ya todos, eh, eh, todos salieron porque ya no quieren morir. ¿Cuántos kilómetros ha dejado en moto y no se va a caer? No, no puede ganar en todo en la vida. Sí, Llega un momento que sí se gana, otro momento que sí se pierde. Sí, sí, eso es. Siempre tienes la, el machete en tu bota. Sí, porque... No es incómodo. No, 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 eso es de repente una mala cubierta ya, eso es rápido. O sea, la, ah. vida, la vida del guerrero, cuando el guerrero tiene que hacer algo rápido, ¡pala! Y ¡pum! Y no puede estar así de que aquí, no, tú tienes que estar vivo, listo en todo, ¿entiendes? Siempre listo. Siempre listo. De, de, el estilo de vida de nosotros como, como pueblo indígena Ajá. es necesario. ¿Ah, sí? Es necesario. ¿Por? Porque nos movemos de diferentes comunidades, algunos son cazadores y todo eso son herramientas necesarias. Sí, ¿Para gente o animales? Para gente, animales gente. o de repente un, 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 un snack y aquí y sin matar. ¿Un serpiente? Nada. Sí, serpiente y bla, bla, ah. se va. Es una arma para defender. Ah, ya, ya. De repente una It rama planta hay, so. camino, hay que cortar y avanzar. ¿no? Ah, ya, ya. Y para eso andamos el machete. Sí. Si Entonces, no to, to, todos hombres. los hombres tienen uno. Sí, claro, todos. ¿Y mujeres? Trabajan. Bueno, también de repente, ella hey, anda un cuchillo en el, la maleta. <ríe> Ella sí. da un cuchillo una maleta para pelar naranja, limón y... ¡Ajá! Muy bien. ¿Esto para explicar? Yo también tengo uno. ¿Por eso? Pero en bocas. En bocas. En mi moto. Sí. Ok. ¿Y sabes cu cuánta gente vive en esta comunidad? ¿Como sí. unas 100 o menos? Y un aproximado... ¿Leti? 700. En, en, en esta comunidad. En esta comunidad. Ah, ok, ah, bastante sí. grande entonces. Y es un pueblo grande, pero no viven juntos, sino que viven separados, uno aquí, uno allá, uno allá, uno Ah, allá. ya. No están juntos, como una ciudad, todos viven claro. separados. Claro. Yeah. So this this type of tree is one that grows really fast. In like five years it will reach this, and that's the one that they use also to make the the canoes that we came in. Wow, mira este vista, ¿no? Esa. See, there's another small boat just coming down the river there. So the people that live here, they can only come here either via the river or via this uh, small path. So only with horseback. There is no uh, road coming here. Algún accidente allá tenemos personas ya idóneas para mover el accidente con motores a las una de la mañana, ocho de la noche, diez de la noche, tres de la mañana, cuatro de la mañana en ese río porque ya lo conocen de memoria como andan en la mano. Ah, sí. Día y día igual y si no tienen transporte en bote hacen una balsa grande, ponen sí. sus productos, su verdura, las penca, las hojas y lo yeah. trasladan por todo el Pero río. Es, es peligroso, ¿no? Porque hay ah. partes, hay muchas rocas y cuando no hay mucho agua. Es... Sí, hay muchas rocas, pero bajo la experiencia todo yeah. es una ¿Saben dónde? aventura, es una aventura. <risa> Claro, Entonces, pero el, el río es como el sangre de la comunidad. Sí, ¿eh? es, es el río, la vida de nosotros. Sí. Es el río, la vida de nosotros. Porque sí. sin ese río, estamos listos. ¿Dónde vamos yeah. a ir? Yeah. ¿Dónde vamos a ir? Entonces, igualmente estamos frente a la, las represas, porque la represa, una empresa que quiere también construir dentro del, ah. del, de la comarca, el pueblo nazo, pero ahora estamos en manifestación por por cuidar sobre la, la vida y no yeah. permitir, y no permitir ah, más quieren construir otra sí, hidroeléctrica dos hidroeléctrica más, oh, dos más. De esto. Dos ah, más. pero sí. quiere decir menos agua aquí no sí 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 Entonces, dos yeah. hidroeléctricas más esta agua se murió ya no más agua yeah. no más pescado yeah, yeah. no más vida nada más salud no hay más amor no hay más nada yeah. Entonces, ¿cuál es el beneficio hacia nosotros? Casi nada. Yeah. Y solo para los que tienen más recursos y nosotros por dónde. Entonces, si hablamos de, 
de, de, de medio ambiente, hablamos de naturaleza, lo que nosotros conservamos, yeah. otras personas van a venir a destruir nuestra naturaleza y la vida yeah. que tenemos nosotros. Y nosotros yeah. No permitimos ese tipo de situaciones en el momento, porque esa es la vía de nosotros, vía de transporte acuático. Entiendo. Okay, mucho gusto una vez más, bienvenido a la comunidad Solón. Gracias. Y Mi a la comunidad. organización OCA, la comunidad de ella, Mi donde comunidad. vive ella. Gracias. Su familia por acá. Esa es la mata de la yuca, ¿ves? Ah, este. Esta es la yuca, ¿ves? Esta es la yuca, ¿ves? Esta. Esta es la yuca. Pero la yuca está abajo, 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 abajo este, ¿no? Esta es la, la, la palmera de arriba donde oh, yeah. se siembra, se corta por aquí. Estamos al frente, mira, tenemos una pipa verde y al fondo tenemos la amarilla. Son yeah. dos tipos, son, ah, son yeah, pruebas yeah. fundamentales, una verde y una amarilla. Son dos plantones de pipa yeah. pe, de coco, pero al mismo sabor. Es no, coco normal, la no misma importa. especie de coco. ¿Y, ¿Y este también se puede comer sí, o tiene que esperar un sí, poco más? Tiene que esperar un poco más que esté más grande. Yeah. Buenas tardes, Adelante. señor. Adelante. Gracias. Amiga, hola. Buenas. Buenas. Ahora siéntese, siéntese. Gracias. Todo el mequi. Todo el vuelo. Vuelo también, es bueno decir, güey. Ajá. Tanto como mucho cosa, me te borro, borro, eh, buen de lo que es, eh, eh, si es ir. Te borro de data, eh, su cosco. No te estaba en el buen lugar. Ajá, ok, de que lo que se interpreta es de que una vez más no, 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 no tiene buena, buen oído, pero yeah. él dice que nació en la comunidad de Sijik, es, es Sijik es centro del corazón de, de la comarca de ah, Coronazo, sí. yeah. donde está la casa, el palacio del rey, tradicional, cultural, pero yeah. está, ya te dije como cinco horas más arriba. Está tipo de palacio de grano, no ah. Nuestra batalla, como los misquitos, como los bribri, yeah. como los indios conejos y luego el remate de vuelos españoles que nos dieron un masacre completo por nuestro oro. Sí. ¿Me entiendes? Sí. Entonces, cuatro enemigos frente a uno, sí. indefenso y estos con armas de fuego y nosotros con esto, sí. una, una lucha muy triste. So these are the traditional weapons that the people here used the um, oh, where's the bow uh, the bow that you had oh this one this one is a, a a bow so that one they used to hunt for animals but these ones were to protect against other indigenous groups and the spanish when they came and then those are more advanced uh, weapons it's a crossbow that one and i think that one is also a bow of some sort and uh, they also use poison at the tips uh, of those spears. You can also take this. This is new, this is a new one. 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 Wow. This is a new one. Wow. This Este para ¿Cómo funciona? Ah, wow. Esto tiene una cuerda aquí. Y allá se pone. Y aquí se mete el, el dardo, la lancita. Eso vuela. Ya. Yeah. Wow. Increíble. Sí. Entonces, esto es para disparar aquí. Ya. Yeah. Esta es la mira. Sí. Con, silencioso. Ah, silencioso. silencioso. Ah, ya, 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 ya. Usted ah. viene allá y yo estoy allá. ¿eh? Ese es el, el más, el arm, la arma más fuerte, ¿no? Este es arma de, de activo también. De sí, sí, sí. Ya. So that was a super interesting uh, visit. Um, so we just went to the house of Orlando's uh, granddad. They didn't know that we were coming. So they were a little bit surprised at the beginning, but uh, very welcoming and yeah, it was so interesting to listening to listen to his stories um, because he is 89 years old. So I could ask him all sorts of questions about how life was like when he was a kid, like over 80 years ago. Because now you can walk between some of the communities, but he said back then it was only the river. You could definitely not walk here. It was a thick, thick jungle. 
and there were only very few people and they all lived quite far away from each other there were no houses they they lived in kind of thatched they just had a thatched roof all the way down no flooring or anything it was just dirt and that was how their houses looked like uh, at the time they had four enemies three different other indigenous tribes um, and then the Spanish. Um, originally there were a lot of people from the Nasso community that lived on Bocos del Toro, on the islands, but they were driven away there by the Spanish and they came to this place and some crossed the mountains over to what is now Costa Rica. But they're really struggling to keep their culture kind of alive. It's just disappearing. And that starts with the language. Um, there are already some areas where the people don't speak Nasso anymore. So he spoke very good Spanish, better than, <laughs> better than me. Um, but some of the, the stories he told in Naso, which is their um, indigenous language, which is completely, completely different. It's a unique language, um, but it's slowly disappearing as well as other parts of their culture. And on the, the side where the Naso people went to Costa Rica, they say they live, uh, how you say that, a modern life and nothing really is is left of um, their traditions. I think they're, they're really trying to keep it alive. And uh, yeah, I, I believe if I understood correctly, they're now starting to teach children in school Nasso again, and not only Spanish, but also their own indigenous language. Uh, to, yeah, in an effort to preserve it, to keep it alive. I think we're now gonna go back to the river and then uh, back to, I think, to the road, really. So of course when, uh, when Granddad was young, they also had boats made from, uh, from the trees, but no uh, engine, so they just had to pedal at that, that time. Now that's uh, changed, of course, to uh, engine uh, Hola. boats. See, it's already here. Oh, it's not the end. <laughs> Hola. Say hi to Orlando's horse. 
uh, that's called macho. <laughs> hola, hola, sweetie. Hey, such a sweet horse. Hey, hey, macho. So having a horse is essential because, as I said before, if the water level in the river gets too low, then you don't have any other option than to go by horseback. Let's go upstairs. I think we're going to eat something now. I just love the way these stairs look. See, they're, 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 they're completely natural. So they used this tree, which was had a bend in it, and then they cut it in half, put it like that, put the wood in between, and now you get a staircase which goes at an angle. Alright, it is lunch time. I will show you uh, the food that we're eating. Um, this is called Raba de Mono. That kind of refers to the tail of a monkey because this plant has like the, the end kind of rolls up like that. Um, and this. ¿Cómo se llama esta otra vez? Esta cosa? Yampi. Yampi? Yampi, Yampi. Yampi. I don't know what Yampi is. And the uh, frijoles, which are uh, beans. So uh, I'm just gonna try it now. I'm gonna try this uh, yampi. Pero yampi es un tipo de yuca, o no? No, no, no. Es, un, es un yame. Yampi de Jorge Cronía para enseñarlo a ella que es un yampi de semilla, por favor. Mm. It's really good. I, I don't know what it tastes like. It has a. It's a bit potato like. I would say it's a kind of a potato. It's absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna enjoy my lunch. All right, I'm back on uh, the little boat from Almirante, on to Bocas. The sun is uh, gonna go down soon now. Somebody shouted something. I think we forgot somebody. One more passenger. But anyway, what a, what a day. Um, what a special day. So I'm gonna end this video now. Uh, that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I'll see you in the next video.